It's time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Thursday, October the 21st, 2021. Brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Church service for Holly Russell, 51 of Last Buddy, is set for 10 o'clock Saturday morning, October the 23rd at the First Baptist Church in Spring Lake with Rob Norris officiating burial will follow in the Last Buddy Cemetery. Holly died Tuesday, October the 19th in Last Buddy. She was born August 28th, 1970 in West Covina, California to Hollis and Gay Nell Connor Moree. She married Clint Russell in Spring Lake on January the 13th, 1990. Holly was a wife, a mom, a homemaker, a bookkeeper, a teacher's aide over the course of her life. She is preceded in death by her father, Hollis Moree. Holly is survived by her husband, Clint, two children, Seth Russell, and his wife, Ashley of Last Buddy, Shayless Chapel, and her husband, Michael of Mertzen, Texas, her mother, Gay Nell Marie of Spring Lake, two sisters, Lisa Price and her husband, Michael of Spring Lake, Janie Jordan and her husband, Kyle of Big Lake, Texas, two precious grandchildren, Elva Chapel and Walker Chapel. She is also survived by her extended family, Donna Jenkins and her husband, David of Roswell, two children brian bradshaw and his fiance sarah hollifield of roswell and amy jones and her husband morgan of roswell and uh, grandchildren clayton jones the family suggests memorials be sent to the american cancer society 3411 73rd street lubbock texas 79423 online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com and repeating church service for holly russell 51 of last buddy Set for 10 o'clock Saturday morning, October 23rd at the First Baptist Church in Spring Lake with Rob Norris officiating. Burial will follow in the Last Buddy Cemetery. Please keep the Russell family on your prayer list today. Tommy Joe Largent, 89, of Lubbock, passed away on Saturday, October the 16th. He was the father of Don Williams, formerly a mule shoe. He was born in Chico, Texas on January 24, 1932, to the late Virgil S. Largent and Mary Bell Malone. Tommy graduated from Chico High School in 1948 at the age of 16. He attended North Texas College, where he received a business degree with honors. He loved his country and joined the U.S. Air Force during the Korean conflict. After completing his service, he took his degree of business and taught in the education field at Spring Lake Earth Schools from 1953 to 1955. But his love and dedication was given to Lubbock High School. He taught until retirement there uh, in 1992. During his years teaching, he was given the task to manage the teacher's credit union until 2001. Tommy enjoyed fishing, but his love was bowling, where he competed in the American Bowling Congress and was treasurer for the Texas Bowling Association. He volunteered and served with friends of the library as well. Tommy's greatest love went to his family and loved his great-grandkids. He was an active member of the Southside Church of Christ and loved his church family. He was selected to go on the 2019 South Plains Honor Flight. It made a great impact knowing his service to his country was important. He is preceded in death by his father, Virgil Largent, and mother, Mary Lumsden, and is survived by his children, Don Williams and her husband, Roger, Carrie Barden, Jill Barden and Vincent, grandchildren, Corey Williams and Brienne, Dan Williams and his wife, Lydia, Matthew Williams, Campbell Williams, Maddie Williams, Abby Williams, nieces and families, uh, Kathy Fostel, son, uh, Justin Cortez of Bridgeport, daughter, Megan Hood and husband, AJ, and two daughters of Decatur, Suzanne Gardner and her husband, Bill, uh, daughter, em em Emily Romkima and husband, Brett, their two sons of Springfield, South Dakota, and son Chris Gardner and wife Deanne, their three sons and daughter of Conway, Arkansas. Tommy will, the family of Tommy Largent, will receive guests on next week on Tuesday, October the 26th from 5 until 7 p.m. 
at Rest Haven Funeral Home, 5740 West 19th Street in Lubbock. A graveside service will follow on Wednesday, October 27th at 10 a.m. In lieu of flowers, donations, uh, please be made. Uh, memorials to the Texas South Plains Honor Flight or the Friends of the Library there in Lubbock in Tommy's Honor. Also, also online tributes can be shared at resthavenfuneralhome.com. And I remember many... Uh, over the years, uh, he would be hanging out with Don and Roger at Williams General Store here in Milshu Drive uh, from Lubbock in one of his classic cars. And uh, he was really a nice guy and will be missed. And uh, please keep the family of Tommy Largent on your prayer list today, uh, the father of Don Williams. And uh, again, the family will be receiving guests on Tuesday, October the 26th from 5 until 7 Next week at Rest Haven uh, Funeral Home, 5740 West 19th Street in Lubbock. And a graveside service for Tommy will follow on Wednesday, October the 27th. Please keep the Largent family on your prayer list today. Funeral service for Roger Pena, 53 of Milshu, was held Last week fr on Friday, October the 15th at the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church with Father Mercado of Muleshoe and Sergio Leal officiating burial was in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Roger died on Monday, October the 11th in Clovis. He was born on April the 22nd, 1968 here in Muleshoe to Joe P Pena Jr. and Alina Luera Hernandez. He married Dana Wallace in Muleshoe on November the 11th. 2013 roger enjoyed riding his motorcycle cooking out with friends and family he loved the texas longhorns and hated the dallas cowboys roger loved spending time with his grandkids he is preceded in death by his father joe and one granddaughter adeline pena roger is survived by his wife dana his three sons christopher pena of amarillo alexander pena of brady and, and Gregory Pena of Lubbock. His two daughters, Erin Castaneda and her husband, Marco of Bovina, Brianna Size, and her husband, Jonathan of Clovis. His mother, Alina Hernandez of Muleshoe, a sister, Yolanda Olguin of Lubbock, four brothers, Greg Hernandez of Lubbock, Johnny Hernandez of Dumas, Rudy Pena of Dumas, and Brent Hernandez of Lubbock. He also is survived by 13 grandchildren. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. Please keep the family of Roger Pena on your prayer list today. A memorial service for Sherry Lynn Embry, 66 of Farwell, was held Thursday, October the 7th at the Farwell Church of Christ. With Michael Harmon of Clovis officiating, burial followed in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Sherry passed away on Tuesday, October the 5th. With her husband and her children, she was born June the 9th, 1955 in Clovis to Donald and Louita McKillop Clark. She married Weldon Embry in Clovis, August 23rd, 1975. Sherry was a faithful member of the Church of Christ. She loved being of service to others through cooking, writing cards and letters, sewing and making phone calls. Sherry was outgoing and cared about others. She loved making friends wherever she went. One of Sherry's greatest joys was to serve her family as a faithful wife, loving mother, and Grammy, and a devoted daughter. She is preceded in death by her brother, David Clark. She has, Sherry is survived by her husband of 46 years, Weldon, two sons, Brandon Emery and his wife, Amanda of Farwell, Dawson Emery of Canyon, her daughter, Rachel Embry of Lubbock, her parents, Donald and Louita Clark of Clovis, three grandchildren, McKaylee, Daniel, and Fenton Embry. The family suggests memorials be sent to the Farwell Church of Christ, P.O. Box 96, Farwell, Texas, 79325, or Tipton Children's Home, P.O. Box 370, Tipton, Oklahoma, uh, 73570. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com on their website. Please keep the family of Sherry Lynn Embry on your prayer list today. A celebration of life memorial service for Jean Allison will be held this weekend on Saturday, October the 23rd, as many of her family members are coming into Muleshoe to celebrate their uh, Jean Allison's life. And uh, that will be at the Muleshoe Heritage Center at the Santa Fe Depot 
beginning at 1.30 p.m. on Saturday, October the 23rd. Everyone is welcome to come and remember the life of Jean Allison. And uh, the family plans on eating at Liao's beforehand and going to her graveside and then coming for one uh, for the 130 memorial service for Jean Allison on Saturday October the 23rd at the Muleshoe Heritage Center on the west edge of town in the Santa Fe Depot everyone is welcome well it's finally here the big centennial celebration weekend for the First Baptist Church it will begin this Saturday October the 23rd with their open house that will be from 2 until 4 there at the church, desserts will be served and tours of the building will be offered. On Then on Sunday, October the 21st, excuse me, tw- Sunday, October 24th, the centennial celebration will continue beginning at 9.30 that morning with a continental breakfast in the Fellowship Hall. 10.10 10 a.m., they'll have piano duets with Nolan Lewis and Robert Black in the sanctuary. 10.30 a.m., the centennial worship service We'll begin with the First Baptist Church Worship Choir, Children's and VBS songs, and Ryan Johnson will also be in attendance to sing a special at the Centennial. Barry Bradley, the pastor from 84 to 90, will be preaching. Presley Miller, a fifth-generation member of First Baptist Church, will be baptized. The BGCT and the CPBA representatives will make presentations to First Baptist Church, and they will... Uh, recognize the oldest and newest members of First Baptist Church. Then at noon, they will have lunch with River Smiths at the Muleshoe High School Commons area. And that's all going on at the big centennial celebration at the First Baptist Church here in Muleshoe. And of course, we will live stream on Sunday beginning at 9.15 a.m., so a lot earlier, and we'll have a video slideshow of the centennial celebration of 101 years of First Baptist Church Muleshoe. Then the live stream will continue at 10.10 a.m. with piano duets, 10.30 a.m. the centennial worship service. That's all available on the front page of our website, muleshoetv.com, under the First Baptist tab. Also on either one of our Facebook pages, Gil Lamb or Channel 6 Muleshoe, and live stream as well on our YouTube channel, Gil Lamb Advertising. Find uh, the links to our website at fbcmuleshoe.org on the First Baptist Church on their uh, website. We want to apologize for not being with you the last two weeks here on the Mule Train News as mom and I both got under the weather there for a little while and then mom had some doctor's appointments in Lubbock and uh, we had the bye week there last week for football and so we just haven't had our Mule Train for the last two weeks but we'll get back in the saddle and uh, we'll have our Mule Trains again going forward on every Thursday. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. This edition of the Mule Train is brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Hey, Mule Shoe. I'm Julia Reynolds, and whenever I come to town to visit family, I always choose Leal's Mexican Restaurant, preferably more than one. My favorite is the Laura Special with extra queso. It gets no better than that. The original Liao's Mexican Restaurant is located at 1010 West American Boulevard, where you can dine in with the Liao's family's authentic dishes or carry out by simply calling ahead at 806-272-3294. Brian Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas, where they have wedding shower selections now. For Shelby Harrison and Jacob Matt Crittenden, wedding showers November the 6th. All new shipment of puzzles available now at Frying Cox, including the images of Texas, the Pumpkin Patch Farm, Harvest Truck Puzzles, along with many Christmas-themed designs as well. The special of the month is the 10-year smoke alarm marked down to $16.97 while supplies last. And the manager's special for this month is a 20-volt Max Cordless Leaf Blower by Black & Decker marked down to $99.97. Get in now for the best selection of winter work jackets and bib overalls by Byrne for the whole family. Also, battery-powered heated jackets and hoodies by Milwaukee. 
hand tow foot and mega warmers along with antifreeze for your vehicles along with rv and marine antifreeze and windshield de-icer spray available now at frying cox get in now while the selection is best frying cox 401 south first street mule Shoe, texas get ready for the colder weather right around the corner they're open monday through saturdays 8 a.m till 6 p.m well the mighty and band this past weekend I marched in UIL competition at Lowry Field in Lubbock this past Saturday, October the 16th, and they received a Division II. The band is under the direction of Miranda DeBruin, and you can see a lot of their great halftime performances nearly in every one of our live stream or delayed broadcasts football games from this past season the mighty and marching band again receives a division two in marching this uh, past weekend on saturday october the 16th at the uil competition at lowry field in lubbock the mule shoe isd title one uh, title three parent meeting family fun night will be next week on October the 25th, which will be Monday, October the 25th, they will have bingo, prizes, snacks. Child care will be available for kids 0 to 6 years old. Important information will be shared as well. Again, prizes, snacks, child care available all at the Title One, Title Three Parent Meeting Family Fun Night, Monday, October the 25th. And this will be at the MHS Commons area. 800 West 3rd Street here in Muleshoe. They're inside Muleshoe High School, and they ask for you to start showing up for registration at 6 p.m. Again, Title I, Title III MISD Parent Meeting and Family Fun Night will go on on Monday, October the 25th at 6 p.m. at the MHS Commons area. They'll have bingo, prizes, and snacks. Child care will be available for kids 0 to 6 years old. They will also have important information for you as well. Do not miss out. Everyone is invited. Well, tomorrow on Friday, October 22nd at noon, the Mule Shoe City Council will meet in special session there at City Hall in the Council Chambers. They will have on the agenda one thing, consider awarding construction contract for the installation of water lines for the 2019-20 Texas CDBG contract. And then they will adjourn. That's all going on at noon tomorrow, Friday, October 22nd, a special session of the Muleshoe City Council, and they will be considering awarding a construction contract for the installation of water lines. Well, the mules will be in action tomorrow on Friday, October the 22nd at River Road. The kickoff will be at 7 p.m. there just north of Amarillo at River Road High School at their football stadium. And the mules are coming off a really rough past couple of several games and then a bye week they lost uh, for the homecoming game on the October 1st in a really wet and cold night that the game got uh, quite delayed I don't think the kickoff was until about 8 30 they lost a close one to Snyder and of course Westwood uh, led Snyder uh, Tiger football team they lost 45 to 33 then after that, on October the 8th, they lost to Bushland 44-13. to And then last week had a bye week. So it's tough to have a bye week after two losses, one very close, and the other one was sort of a runaway game. But we'll be back in district action against River Road this coming Friday night, October the 22nd at 7 p.m. River Road does not have uh, high-speed internet available to us there in the press box. Uh, they offered us Wi-Fi, but a live high-definition live stream just won't work connected to Wi-Fi. So we, we will do a delayed broadcast that will be available early Saturday morning on our website, MuleshoeTV.com. Now in District 238 uh, um, standings, Bushland is at number one. They're 2-0. and oh. On the district season, five and three overall. Dalhart is one and zero oh, and two and five overall. River Road is third in the district at one and one. They're five and three overall. And Muleshoe is at zero oh and one uh, in uh, fourth place in the district and two and five overall. And Littlefield is zero oh and two on the district uh, uh, standings and three and five overall. So. The Mules can still hang in there and make the playoffs. They take four teams 
And so in a five-team district, that puts you in a good spot to make the playoffs. And they need a win Friday night, uh, tomorrow, October 22nd at River Road. But join us if you can't make it to support the Mules out uh, north of Amarillo. We will have the full game broadcast available on our website, MuleshoeTV.com, early Saturday morning, along with our Facebook pages, Gil Lamb and Channel 6 Muleshoe, and our YouTube channel, Gil Lamb Advertising. And again, River Road is one and one and four, uh, third in the district and five and three overall. The Mules are 0 and one in district action and two and five overall. So good luck to the Mules Friday night. Our broadcast will be brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Muleshoe Independent School District, Mohawk Auto Parts, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association. McDonald's Restaurant, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, WTG Fuels, k k Pharmacy, Edward Jones, Stephen DeMint, Farmers Insurance, Julie DeBruin, Leal's Tortilla Factory, State Farm Insurance, Mark Morton, Bammert Seed Company, and Bywise Home Store. Again, look for our broadcast Saturday morning. Uh, at MuleshoeTV.com. It's time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by K&K Pharmacy. K&K Pharmacy, where next week for Halloween, lots of things going on. They're having a Halloween coloring contest for kids ages 2 through 17. Come into the store, uh, the pharmacy at 1411 West American Boulevard to get your coloring page And when you have finished coloring it, bring it back by the store, and they will display it here for the community to see all your hard work. There is, um, it's for kids ages 2 through 17. There will be one winner per age group, only one entry per child, only one winner per family. All entries must be at the pharmacy, 1411 West American Boulevard by October the 28th. So the Halloween coloring contest, lots of fun. For the kids, they'll also have a pumpkin decorating contest as all the employees will be decorating pumpkins over the next few days and uh, next week. And they ask that their customers come in and cast their votes to determine who will win the pumpkin decorating contest between their employees. All at K&K Pharmacy, 1411 West American Boulevard. Don't forget, they will deliver your medications to your home here in the Muleshoe area. Just call 806-272-7511. k k Pharmacy, Christine Isaacson and Crystal Alicon, the friendly pharmacists, along with all their great employees, can help you out. You can come in the store here now here in Muleshoe, 1411 West American Boulevard. Use their convenient drive through on the west edge of the building or call 806-272-7511 and they will deliver to your home now here in the Muleshoe area. Well, we did ha- our first freeze a little bit early here for Muleshoe. As it came last Friday night into Saturday morning, we got down to 25 degrees and it stayed there for quite some time, so a really hard freeze here for the Muleshoe area. I think our average freeze is somewhere right around now, October the 22nd over the last 100 years here in Muleshoe, but we had a, a week early freeze this year in 2021 as we froze october 15 16 overnight and we got down to 25 degrees here most of that nighttime hours now uh, we've gone pretty dry too here in october as it usually does started out with a bang it's the first day of october uh, on that football friday night we got it over an inch of rain here and we did really well but nothing much since then as uh, the Muleshoe Mesonet Station only has an inch and 17 one-hundredths of rain so far in the month of October. And the Earth Mesonet Station right next to Tolk Plant only has eight-tenths of an inch so far in the month of October. Looking at our forecasts, so far no rain in the forecast for the next seven days, so it's mostly cloudy. Today on Thursday, then gradually becoming sunny, high near 78 degrees, south-southwest winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour, partly cloudy tonight, low around 51, south winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour, then mostly sunny on Friday, 
high near 81 degrees. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Friday night, partly cloudy, low around 54. South-southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then Saturday, warming up all the way to 84 degrees, mostly sunny conditions as well. Southwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, partly cloudy Saturday night. Low around 52. Sunny on Sunday, high near 80. West winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Clear Sunday night, low around 46. Sunny on Monday, high near 83 degrees. South Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Then clear Monday night, low around 52. Tuesday, sunny, high near 82. Tuesday night, clear, low around 47. Then Wednesday during the day, sunny. A little bit colder, high near 72. k k Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Well, as of Wednesday, October the 20th, according to the Texas Health Department, Bailey County only has nine active cases of COVID-19. So that's a good thing as we stay low. It has been vacillating up into the teens and single digits here for the past several weeks. As far as our uh, vaccines go here for Bailey County, as of yesterday on Wednesday, those 12 and older here in Bailey County, only 43% of the county has gotten fully vaccinated. 68% of those 65 and older have gotten vaccinated. So get out and get your COVID-19 vaccine now. You can do it at k k Pharmacy, any of the medical clinics at the hospital. Of course, I'm sure United Supermarkets have covid vaccines as well but it's important we'll be back with more mule train news in just a few moments so please stay tuned i grew up in de leon texas de leon is a town in north central texas in 2011 uh, i went to philadelphia college of osteopathic medicine i graduated in 2015 I did an internship in Jersey City. I stayed there and completed a residency in family medicine. And I started here August of 2018. So I actually see patients from the full newborn screening exams to uh, very old. So everything in between. It's important as you get on in life that you establish a relationship with a doctor, that you're able to discuss personal issues and have a trust there. And so as soon as you can establish that relationship, you and your doctor or a team and you're working towards this goal and the better you can work with your doctor as a team the more honest you are with your doctor uh, the more information you can give him the better the results will be here to go onto the front page of our website muleshoetv.com and see our video that we put together for the muleshoe heritage foundation it's a story that Sammy Simpson wrote 16 years ago about the history of the Muleshoe Heritage Center. And uh, it was read by Ann McElroy, Don McElroy, Nick Bammert, Cliff Black, Arnold Price, Sheila Stevenson, Kenneth Henry, Darling Henry, and then Scott Miller at the end gives an update what's happened there at the Senior Center or at the Heritage Center since 2004. Sammy was recognized at their annual meeting this year for her hard work and dedication to the Heritage Center. They had a nice cake, and many of her family members were there on hand uh, to celebrate Sammy Simpson on October the 10th at the Heritage Center's annual meeting. Uh, and they also elected two new board members on that uh, Saturday, and they are Ann Johnson and Vicki Birch, so new board members at the Heritage Center and a celebration of Sammy Simpson. Make sure to see our history video that Sammy Simpson wrote, available on the front page of our website, muleshoetv.com. It's really good. Also, on the front page of our website, you can see the live stream from the city council meeting for the regular city council meeting held in October, on October the 11th, along with the live stream from the Muleshoe versus Bushland game from October the 8th, all that available free of charge on demand on our website, muleshoetv.com. The St. Anne's Catholic Church in Bovina will be having their annual turkey dinner Sunday, November the 7th at 11.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. Texas time at the St. Anne's Parish Hall on 3rd Street in Bovina. They'll be serving turkey and dressing. 
cream potatoes and gravy, green beans, homemade bread, cranberry sauce, relish plate, desserts, tea, and coffee. It's $12 for adults, $6 for children six and under. Takeout plates will be available at no additional charge. A quilt made by St. Anne's Society will be raffled off during the dinner. And that is going on again on uh, November Sunday, November the 7th from 11.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the St. Anne's Parish Hall on 3rd Street in Bovina, St. Anne's Catholic Church, their annual turkey dinner. It's $12 for adults, $6 for children 6 and under. Well, at the Senior Center today on Thursday, they'll be serving vegetable beef stew. Tomorrow on Friday, October 22nd, fish or chicken strips. Then on Monday, October 25th, beef fajitas. Creamy mushroom steak on Tuesday, October 26th. And then October 27th, chicken fried steak. Thursday, October the 28th, they'll be serving chicken spaghetti. They're having entertainment at lunch tomorrow on Friday, October 22nd. A matter of balance. Group meets to work out at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, October 26th. They'll have Bingo Loteria at 1 p.m. on Wednesday, October 27th next week. Matter of Balance meets again on Thursday at 10 a.m. October 28th. Then they'll have a Spooky Spoons Craft at 1 in the afternoon Thursday next week. Then Tom Skinner will entertain during lunch on Friday, October the 29th. That's all going at going on at the Bailey County Senior Center, Main and Avenue D. On your prayer list today, continue to remember Ed Cox and Vince Fitzgerald, Ruby Green, and Jeff Skipworth, Deborah Walls. Keep Mom on your prayer list, Magan Reynolds, Joyce Scott, Ronnie Angeli, Chance Hulse. Remember, please, Kearney Scoggin and Buck Campbell. Also, Joe Jinx needs to be on your prayer list today. Teresa McNabb and Kelvin Johnson. Remember Renee Copley and Orvis Burris. Please keep those that have recently lost a loved one, like the family of Sherry Embry, the family of Roger Pena needs to remain on your prayer list today, the family of Jackie Mosier, the family of Tommy Largent, the family of Holly Russell, Please keep on your prayer list as well the family of Sally Ellis, the family of Wilsey Moore, the family of Val Smith. Please keep the family of Kiko Reyes and the family of Shirley Wagner needs to remain on your prayer list today. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train Mule News Train. brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our, our latest Mule Train News program along with all our archived Mule Train programs available free of charge on demand on our website, MuleShoeTV.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith, Texas Tech's Horses That Heal. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. The Sound of Texas is brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They're celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They're owned by the members that they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at BCEC. COOP.com, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope you enjoy this Sound of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Texas Tech has a therapeutic horse program that has been going on for 23 years. We work with people with any sort of disability or special need, and that can include physical, emotional, cognitive. We see riders with really involved autism, cerebral palsy all the way to people working on, you know, self-confidence and depression, anxiety, especially coming off the pandemic here and everything. People were cooped up for so long that they're looking for an outlet and a, something that makes them feel good about themselves. Tanji Irwin, program director. We had this little rider that doctors and everybody, specialists at the scene, they warned their parents, like, you know, this kid is not going to walk. Just be prepared for that. They're going to be using a wheelchair for their life. 
So their family just kind of on a last ditch effort came out here and after six rides, that little girl was, was taking steps and putting steps together. That completely changed that little girl's life. And now she's like 14 now and she's on the cheerleading team and doing some athletics and stuff and stuff that she might not have been able to do had she not ridden. We've gotten to see people say their first words. The ages of people taking advantage of the program range from 2 to 98. Some stay for a semester, some stay for years. We've gotten to see riders out here go up and hug their parents for the first time, you know, and the parents will just cry. We're not just working on, oh, hey, they can ride a horse now, you know. We're working on life skills that change how they live their daily lives. The program has certified instructors and therapists and plenty of horses. It's a bargain. We do find that, you know, when we do charge them some sort of minimal fee, that they seem a little more invested in the program. And so they tend to come to lessons more and be more involved. So it actually helps to, to charge them that, that minimal fee. Texas Tech provides some maintenance money, but the program operates mostly on grants, donations, and fundraisers. A group has been formed to help fund the program. So it's kind of like a booster club for the Texas Tech Therapeutic Riding Center. Tangi Irwin has been with the horse therapy program at Texas Tech for 17 years. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.